First, we're going to look, uh, look ahead to the King George, Kempton on Boxing Day, with our resident anti-post expert, Ben Hutton, who joins me on the phone now. Uh, ben, we've got a long run and cue card at the top of the market uh, for that race. What's your opinion on those two? Well, I, I really couldn't have long run. Um, it's understandable why he's favourite, but um, I'm glad he's in the race he's worth taking on. Uh, since he won the Gold Cup, he's run five races, been sent off favourite five times, and he's only won once, and that was a, a laboured win at Newbury last February, so um, I'll be taking him on and looking elsewhere, although that's not the cue card, because I think, um, he's, well, Kempton three miles is easier than, than a lot of three miles uh, in the country, but his he's stamina is far from assured. Um, Halden Gold Cup was the first race of a lot of horses' seasons, um, so I wouldn't want to take the form too literally, and um, yeah, I'd definitely be looking outside these two. What do you think has gone wrong with uh, Long Run? The world was his oyster when he won the Gold Cup, but since then, things haven't really gone to plan. No, they haven't. If, um, I think we've been spoiled by the era of Corto Star and, and Denman. If, if the, the years between Best Mate and, and Paul Nichols superstars, we kept having Gold Cup winners who, if they'd carried on in the same vein, you'd have thought could have, could have kept on winning Gold Cups. But it's, it's, I think it's just tremendously difficult to keep a, a top-class chaser in in absolutely imperious form and um, long run could bounce back eventually but at the moment I don't think his, his form en entitles him to be favour well it entitles him to be favourite but he's worth taking on OK so long run and cue card not for you what about a quick line on some of the others up there in the betting um, well yeah I think it's a race when nothing's bomb proof um, Riverside Theatre does go well fresh it's just whether he, he has quite the quality to win this race um, others we've got uh, Sir Day Champ um, again would be respected if he ran but um, again just how, how good is he and um, in terms of Captain Chris and Finian's Rainbow the, well Finian's Rainbow wasn't great last time out could be, could be the ground but he's got stamina to prove and, and Captain Chris th there is the quality question there again so th there's a lot of these who, who have question marks against them albeit with good chances No mention there I notice Ben of Grand Cru is he your selection? Yes, um, we talked about horses not being bomb-proof, and after he was pulled up in the Paddy Power, the same applies to him, but it's, it's very difficult to get away from his win on Boxing Day last year in the Feltham, he, when he beat Sylvie and Niarco Conti and Bobsworth. Looked an extremely good horse that day, and that's the sort of form, if he reproduces that, I think he's the one to beat. So, And I, I like backing horses where if I think the horse, if the horse runs to its best, it'll win. And I think that's the case with Grand Crew, and he's an 11 to 1 shot. So if this, this wind operation's worked, um, we can immediately excuse his paddy power run. And yeah, that the Felton wind is, is very, very to the fr front of my mind. So your opinion is based largely on his Felton run? Yeah, that, my, my opinion in the RSA chase is that it's an, it's an attritional race that isn't meant, made for Grand Crew. Um, his career is going remarkably similar along the lines of Long Run, who um, didn't win the RSA and then didn't win the Paddy Power. Like I say, the RSA chase, very attritional. It's not made for the flashy type of animal that Grand Crew is. And if um, if he can come on for his um, Paddy Power reappearance and if the wind up's done the trick, then the talent is there for him to win the King George. Is there anything else catching your eye at bigger odds? Well, yeah, we've talked about a lot of horses who, who are, are inconsistent or who, who have got holes in them and... and if, if they all ran below form, I think Champion Court is consistent enough and has the talent to, to run a big race. He would need a lot of them to run below form because he hasn't quite got the ability of the rest. But I think three miles at, at Kempton will be ideal for him. Um, I don't think he's... He hasn't got um, excessive stamina, but I think this trip and this track should be fine. And another consistent showing from him should, could see him run into a place.